hearing this video is gonna be pretty freaky. Drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. The following video was shared by a couple who was driving on a local road in the midst of night. They state that there are several legends in this area talking mm. about ghostly hitchhikers that are hoping to get a free ride once in a while. Of course, <laughs> these are just myths, but what happened to them tonight made them scratch their heads. Free ride, mega lol. Okay, so ghost caught on dash cam. What could happen? Oh, damn! But that looks that like a normal crazy. human. Looks like a normal person. Can a brother get slow mo? That's creepy. I mean, we see a man standing on the right side. Of the crazy part is that that car just moves like to the left and it just pieces out. You thank you for subscribing. Love you. Of the road with his arms stretched out. I mean, yes, it's late at night and quite dangerous. However, what's really weird is that the radio is interfering the second they drive past the- Does he have three arms or that's like maybe like a hockey stick? Bruh. This man, making the couple to believe that this could have been an actual spirit. They never saw anybody hitchhike on that road, especially at night. There are literally no pedestrians out on these streets in general, since there's yeah. not even a sidewalk. Rifle. Damn. So, yeah, could they capture something? Like, be honest, be honest, be honest, right? If you saw somebody on the road at night, and it's unusual because normally people are not on roads like that. If you saw someone like that, would you actually give them the lift? It's like, it's not about... It's a very tough question, right? It's a very tough answer. You want to help people, for sure. But you just don't know the outcome. And I feel like most people would be afraid of the outcome. Most people would be happy to help. But it's just the outcome, right? The, the, the media the media has brainwashed a lot of people to the point where people don't trust each other. Which is actually sad. Something paranormal unfold this night? But listen, I fired three rounds so far, nothing happened, so it must be a ghost. It must be, right? The the Babylon? This the video Babylon was recording. supposedly captured by the dash cam of a police officer who was out on patrol this night. It was a regular shift for him up until that point. But that changed rather quickly. The officer notices something strange on the road and then drives straight through it. He felt that something was not right and turned around right after to see if anything was there. E no GPS calm. My god, this is looking like a horror movie, dog. It's like, I don't even know where I'm at. Like, looks like a massive hurricane. Maybe a tornado is out. Like, damn. And I see that white mist. So that's grass. Must be in a forest area or abandoned area. Let me... Shots fired. Okay, now shots are really being fired. He's definitely in a car. Okay, now I, I'm able to make out a little bit. He's on the road. Hey! It disappeared? What? And what's this white light, though? That's what I thought was gonna be... It might be a... We can clearly pole. see a mist-like apparition that seemingly seems to float right through the police cruiser. It almost looks like a humanoid form. Strange, isn't it? reason enough for the policeman to turn around. Damn! <laughs> he pumped the brakes too though. Yeah, and it disappeared and completely. Then this thing appears again from the right side of the screen. Right side, right side. So for the second time, <laughs> many people are sure that something paranormal was going on in this recording. Was it maybe a spirit on a nightly walk? We got an HD remaster. What a guy, man. What a homie. Or what else could have caused these mist-like figures, in your opinion? Pretty mysterious. I mean... I mean, any CIA agent, any scientist in my chat, any astronaut... I'm not an astronaut, right? I'm just a stud muffin, so it's kind of hard to make sense of this one, though. Right. And now a big thank you to Tish Hanley. Ah! 
uh, help you. I understand, he homie, wanna eat, but uh, where a man caught some. The next video was captured in Northumberland, England, where a man caught something rather creepy during a nightly ride on a lonesome country road. The road oh, was situated snap. close to the Middleton farm where, during World War II in 1933, a pilot had crashed down with his plane in a fatal maneuver. The young man capturing the incident believes that he might have caught the pilot's spirit on video that night. Pilot? What? What? So we got another lonely road, right? We got so many lonely road today, man. That's kind of wild. So a man is definitely standing there and is supposedly a pilot. People say that this could indeed be a man dressed in a pilot jumper suit, holding what appears to be a helmet under his arm and raising his other hand up in the air. It's just hard to make out. It's so hard to see. What's even more interesting than these observations is that the young driver decided to pick the man up after all, turning around and slowing down. However, the man had mysteriously disappeared into thin air. Why this was not shared with us is unknown and pretty unfortunate. So we can only speculate what had unfolded in these fields that night. HD remaster, what a homie, man. Drop a thumbs up, man. Definitely subscribe to the homie Frost The following video was a submission, which was initially finally an actual HD HD version, man. Actual. Captured by a dash cam of an unknown man who was driving home one night. It is said that he takes this stretch of road regularly and that he has heard and seen things in the past that, quite frankly, can only be described as pretty odd. The area that Bro, this actually brings me back to the time when I, the other day, it's been like almost a week or two at this point, I was, I was on my electric scooter and, and I was going through a road like that. It was about, it was evening time. It was almost getting dark. I, I was losing sunlight then. And I actually saw a deer in front of me, which was very scary though. It was uh, because the deer was right in front of me and I was like, hey, because the road was so tiny, like, it would have been really hard to turn around if it was about to sprint at me. But thankfully, he got scared and I was able to make it out there, so... This road is located in is supposedly haunted. Not really a surprise, given that a graveyard is in pretty close vicinity. He didn't really notice anything in particular, but felt to have seen a blurry shape while taking a right curve at the time. He rewatched the footage later at home and found something really unusual on it. Pretty unusual. Hey, hey, hey! So far, so good. But this road is tattered than a bumhole, bruh. Okay, was there someone there? I don't know, man. It's tattered than a bumhole. Yeah, I think there's someone here. I, I freaked out there too, right? Like I felt like there was someone there. It oh, is not Daniel. easy to make out, but the driver was sure that something was moving right behind that tree and that whatever object we are seeing here was not there only moments before. So the question is, what are we seeing here? Is it just a part of the tree that did confuse our driver here? Or was it maybe something supernatural? If it was anything... My god, that looks like venom though. Bruh. That looks like venom actually. It could have also been an animal or strange creature. But it's really hard to say what exactly was With captured in video heat? here. Damn! That deadass looks like Venom, bro. What you doing, Venom? Blind passenger! The following Ow. recording was captured from the passenger camera inside a taxi cab. And it's quite the unsettling recording. It was recorded one night when the driver of a cab was on his nightly shift. He saw somebody standing on the side of the road, seemingly waiting to catch a ride. So the driver pulls over to pick up the passenger. Oh damn, we got another like bad quality video. It looks like cyberpunk gameplay at 144p. So blind passenger. Okay, this parks the car. Thankfully we got two cameras. I'll make sure my camera is a little bit like that here. So you get to see more. Damn, son. So waiting. Someone else comes in to help by the looks. He opens the door and 
the guy, the See blind person. How the sensei. car door is opening all on its own. How is that possible? At the oh, beginning damn. of the video, we see what appears to be a woman standing on the side of the road. What? HD remaster, Megalol? Yeah? However, she's not moving one bit. She's just standing there. Maybe he or she loves standing though, you know? Like, there's nothing wrong in that. Like, damn it. And then when the cat pulls up, Bruh. she's gone like a fever dream. Glitch? Glitch in the Must matrix? Must be a spirit though, right? That's what the driver believes. Because how can she open the door when she's not visible anymore? A really strange paranormal encounter that unfolded here. And quite creepy to be honest. Mm. Yeah man, that's a bumble clap moment right there, bruh. <laughs> he pumped the brakes there. Just watching. This video was captured by a young man who was out with his friends that night. They were cruising over a street that had seen many accidents in the past. So it's not a surprise that people tell many stories. These bikes are so tiny. I've seen a lot of bikes like that, a lot of electric bikes like that. They are really, really fun, it's man. about ghost sightings that have been experienced by many drivers on that road. While this was not technically captured by a dash cam, it was filmed by a helm camera of our young bike rider this night, which gave him the opportunity to look back at what he believes to have been a ghost appearing on the right side of the road. Right side? Yo, bikes or cars? I would go with bikes. Like, I, I recently found out that I love bikes a lot more. What? I see nothing. Slow mo? Oh, day! That's a baddie! That's a baddie, bro. Like, you see this here? This one? People say that we might be seeing the spirit of a young person here, perhaps wearing a long white shirt or a dress, which is even more plausible if we believe the statement of the bike rider saying that this person seemed to have vanished after he turned his head and took a look at it. Of course you never know if not a crazy person decided to risk their life and stand on the side of this busy road at night. But it makes you wonder, who would do that? Maybe a ghost? Mm, compelling, okay that's very compelling, very strong, very independent. Long now we are Sunday. taking a look at another really odd dashcam recording, which was taken by a man who was on the way home one night. He tells us that it is pretty uncommon to come across people on that road, since it's very narrow and not intended for pedestrians. It was also very late that night, slimming down the chances that anybody would decide to walk these streets. Nevertheless, he came across a strange woman. Man, the quality is so poo poo, bruh. Twenty eighteen. The woman seems to be wearing red clothing of some sorts, but she's not carrying any light source, meaning that she must have been walking up that road for hours in pitch darkness. But the Bruh. man didn't think anything of it and drove past her, only to run into her again a few minutes later. What? Again? Oh my god, yo, let me reload my... Oh damn, right in front! The way she moves, god damn! Oh, he's backing away, he's backing away. Yo, 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 yo. Okay, this gave me some chills. Right now I'm getting like a little bit of goosebumps as well. Damn! The way, you saw the way she was walking, bro? How was that possible? How could the lady be walking up this pitch black mountain road faster than a car? Damn. Of course this is impossible, and the man was sure that he must have captured a ghost that night. Oh man, I would feel you on that, homie. Like, if you saw the same person twice in different location, in matter of seconds, or maybe a minute or two, like, and the way she was walking, that was just... The video is an infamous dashcam recording, which was captured by a man who was on his way home from work. He works till late at night, so the roads are generally never that busy whenever he is in his car. The way home leads through an old tunnel that was built straight through an old mountain. <coughs> Apparently, the mountain is pretty notorious for its ghost sightings. Many people claim to have seen spirits and lost souls there. 
But the man never thought anything of these ghost stories, until tonight. Something rather creepy happened to him. Rather creepy? So he's zooming through, going like maybe 200 kilometers per hour. Officer, give this man a ticket. He's going fast and furious 20 right now. Fast and furious, fast and furious. So must have seen something. Okay, that light is kind of odd. Hey! Move out of the way, move out of the way. Back, 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 back. Is that a person? Or a car? Oh, 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 oh my god, I didn't see that coming. Yo, this broke me, bro. There was certainly a transparent figure standing in the middle of the road. Damn, this kind of broke me. Like, I felt that right in my throat, right? Like, imagine you're driving a car. This can be really dangerous because if you're driving and you see someone like that, you can lose control. You would go left or right immediately to try and save uh, yourself and the person in front, right? And cause, and that would cause an accident. But he just keeps and on the zooming. Car passes straight through it. The driver swears that he did not see. And we got oncoming traffic too. And he says he did not see. Thankfully, bro. See anything at the time, but heard a really odd noise, as if he was hitting something at the time, which was the reason why he went through the footage at home. And then he saw this creepy apparition. Damn. The question is, what was this thing doing there that night? Was it maybe just a strange reflection? What's your idea? Yeah, man, like, okay, that that's like really wild because, damn, son, there were a lot of cars in coming there, too. Old tunnels seem to attract a lot of paranormal activity for some reason. The following video was captured by two friends who also were on a late night trip to their destination. The empty roads lead through an old mountain via a tunnel. They actually state that they have come across some relatively odd stuff in this tunnel. They heard weeping noises, even though nobody was visibly there. So they feel always a little bit uneasy when driving through the mountain. Tonight, they came across something new. Yeah, I'm loving these dash cam footage. I know the quality is bad, but that's what makes it even more creepy, you know? Ghost of a kid in the middle of nowhere. I don't see it. Mira? Ah, hey, 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 hey. Yeah, okay, I saw that there. Damn, son. Someone is Okay, is 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 this face like looking this way or is this face looking at the rock uh, behind? I think he's looking this way, right? Thoughts? A person of small stature in a red top and dark pants is pressing against the rock wall. Not moving at all and seemingly your pants staring up. into the pull your pants up the distance. The two friends say that they believe this to be a kid, which means that this would be a rather reckless act, since this, of course, is extremely dangerous. Yeah. For them, it's pretty clear that this was no living person, maybe the apparition of a young boy. Really hard to say for sure, but it's begging quite a lot of questions. Why was he standing there? Was it just a skid? Or was there another, more plausible explanation for this? Damn, son! <laughs> Didn't even pump the brakes. He just went through, this zooming. This is a dash cam recording, uploaded by the driver of the vehicle, Mitch Kuhn. Mitch was driving along the Hume Highway in Bardia, southwest Sydney, one Sunday night, when he noticed that the really eerie looking object seemed to be making its way right on the oh highway. Yeah, I've seen this. It looked like a small child to him, and immediately after seeing this, he called the police. Mitch was unable to stop the vehicle at the time, since they were carrying a huge toy hauler. What? Okay, what's that? <laughs> Didn't even pump the brakes though. At least pump the brakes, my man. Pump the brakes. Mitch oh, states damn, that he called the local station after realizing that it actually had a shadow too. I just thought Dash I realized. would have caught the footage. He called to see where he could send the video to help them. So the police saw what it was and where this incident took place. 
Shortly after, he was told by the police that the- Okay, yeah, it does have a shadow, right? Like, you see this? It does, it does have a shadow. The kid had been collected safely and was on its way home. Yeah, either it's a very good Photoshop or it's legit. But we see the car lights hitting him. Yeah, it seems kind of real because on the feet, the light is not that uh, much. But right here, you can see the light is really hitting it, right? And then you got the shadow in the background. The shadow is also not very sharpened. It's very kind of fuzzy around the edges. The edges aren't like... Uh, how do you say that? Not very curvy, let's just say. It seems genuine. Either it's a very good Photoshop or it's legit. Home. However, Mitch states that he found out later. And yeah, the shadow is moving alongside it as well. And the light later, source... That the yeah, I don't know. Police I don't know about had this. not found a child, and the search was called off early in the morning. No explanation had been given for this behavior, ever. And it leaves us wondering what was going on here that night, what this mysterious thing was, and why the police would cancel the search and misinform Mitch on the phone. Mm. What a weird story. Do you have an explanation? E but click on this video on the screen. And I will see you right there. Probably some of the scariest stuff. Subscribe. I hear you enjoy that.